from it. I, look, for me, this is the third winter. Um, I, can't, I came into crypto at the um, end of 2013, beginning of 2014. Um, that was a high, uh, Bitcoin was, Bitcoin, in December 2013, Bitcoin reached the high of um, $1,000. And then it dropped for like two years. And then 2017, you reached another high of um, $19,000. Um, and then there was a winter. So that was my second. And then uh, 2021, there was another all time high uh, of 68,000. And then now we're kind of in a winter again. So this is the third time for me. And this is the second time for finance. Um, we have this mentality that this will happen. Um, so even though the history doesn't predict the future, where well, we kind of know that you know, crypto goes through these crazy cycles. And traditional stock markets also go through this cra crazy cycles. So um, for me, it's, this is nothing new. This is fully expected. This wasn't. This didn't catch us by surprise. And actually, we are benefiting from it. We're leveraging this opportunity. We're hiring more people. We're investing in co more companies. Uh, we're doing more mergers and acquisitions. We're uh, we're, in, we're helping the industry to grow. So uh, we're actually taking advantage of this opportunity. So I am pretty confident. I'm very confident we will survive the winter. And uh, this winter is actually way warmer um, than the last couple of winters. The winter in 2014, Bitcoin price was 200 US dollars. And the winter in 2018, the Bitcoin price was $3,000 at the lowest point. Right now, you know, we're still like $16,000, $17,000, $18,000. We're fine. So I'm pretty confident we will survive. We have the cash reserves. Uh, we have, the, we're still profitable even today.